Doctor Who, The Three Doctors, the 15th story of The Third Doctor, is written by Bob Baker and Dave Martin and starring John Pertwee, Patrick Troughton, William Hartnell, Katie Manning, Nicholas Courtney and John Levine. This season is where the Doctor is finally no longer exiled on Earth, so this is the first multi-Doctor story. Originally the title was going to be The Black Hole but got changed to The Three Doctors. So the story begins with Ollis fishing and then something disappeared Mr. Ollis off and Dr. Tyler realises he's gone somewhere. So we cut to the unit where Joe is giving everyone a cuppa and they're suspecting that Ollis is missing somewhere. The bit where Brigadier's passing the silicon to the doctor when he asked if there's anything he needs help with, the answer is an item to stir the tea with, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> so the doctor and Joe investigates at the side of the lake. As Mrs. Ollis hasn't seen her husband since the morning, I love the music where the Bessie is driving. So the antimatter appeared as the Doctor and Joe dodges Bessie, the motor car disappears, which is pretty effective. So the Doctor, Joe, Brigadier and Sergeant Benton discovers that Dr. Tyler is missing, which is because he got teleported by that antimatter. The Doctor figures out what the antimatter is after. The first mistake was Mr. Ollis, the instructions didn't come through. It got Dr. Tyler because the Doctor normally works in the lab. And then it got Bessie, as the Doctor normally drives in it, or her. So after gel guards appearing all over the place and unit soldiers shooting them, but bullets have no effect on them. <laughs> Benton climbs into the window, and after antimatter broke in, so the Doctor, Joe, and Benton went inside the TARDIS, and this is the first time Benton sees the inside of the TARDIS. I like his face, you could tell he's freaking out. Sadly, it mobilised the TARDIS. The Doctor called for Time Lord's help, so they send the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton, through along with his recorder. Fantastic scene in line. When he normally says, I don't like it, it's so iconic. I can see you've been doing the TARDIS up a bit. Mm, I don't like it. Oh my word. So Benton and both Doctors were trying to explain about the Doctor's situation and why he's here. So as both Doctors were arguing, Time Lord sent the first Doctor, William Hartnell, on the scanner. And I like how he's not impressed with his next two incarnations by calling them Dandy and the Clown. <laughs> so the first Doctor tells the second and third Doctor to stop delaying and cross it. So after the me moment and the second Doctor flipping a coin, the third Doctor loses and went outside and followed by Joe, but they both disappeared. The second Doctor convinces Benton that the third Doctor knows what he's doing. So as they realise that they're missing, the second Doctor and Benton has a closer look, and Brigadier came and realises he's reunited with the second Doctor. I love that bit. The second Doctor explained what happened, but Brigadier didn't believe him, and assumed that he was messing on with his technology, changing back his face, and disappeared Joe. The Doctor explains it's up to him, him, and him, it also explains that he's just an anomaly. In the antimatter universe on the planet, the Doctor and Joe woke up and see parts of the HQ being brought to the planet, and Bessie. So they drove around and found Dr. Tyler, but then got founded by gel guards, so they surrender, while being watched by Ollis. While the second Doctor and Sergeant Benton works on the machine for the antimatter, Brigadier took the second Doctor with him for explaining on video to Security Council leaving Benton alone so he turns the power on the dish after having a chewing gum and throwing a wrapper at it it became worse so the second Doctor, Brigadier and Benton ran back into the TARDIS and that's also the first time Brigadier sees the inside of the TARDIS and Brigadier wanted out because Corporal Palmer and the soldiers were outside the building so the first Doctor came and advised the second Doctor to turn off the force field so he did, and as a result, the whole building disappeared and taken to the antimatter universe. The effect on the building flying through Black Hole is nicely done. John Pertwee, as always, fantastic as the third Doctor, very inspiring casting. It's great that they brought Patrick Troughton back as the second Doctor. He still does a splendid job. It's nice to see William Hartnell back as the first Doctor, still great as ever. Although, the original plan was to have three Doctors together in this story, but William Hartnell was too ill, so the agreement between the crew and Hartnell's wife is to film him sitting in the studio and reading scripts. It's pretty effective what they did, and that was his last acting role before he sadly passed away. Bless him.
The only time where we see all three Doctors together is the photos at the photo studio in Battersea. Some say they were taken in Hartnell's garden, garage and garden shed. Katie Manning is great as Joe Grant, love the character. I do love Nicholas Courtney and John Levine as Brigadier Leopard Stewart and Sergeant Benton. What can I say that hasn't been said already? They're brilliant. Originally, Fraser Hines was going to return as Jamie McCrimmon, but he was too busy working on Emmerdale at the time. Richard Franklin, who played Mike Yates, wasn't available, so Benton used most of his lines, which is why Dennis Palmer as Corporal Palmer is created. Funny, they both have similar last names. And on the fandom wikia, the first name sounded the same but different spelling. Okay, that is genius. The character is Unit Soldier, obviously. Stephen Thorne played Omega, aka Palix, Omegon, or Om is a Time Lord stellar engineer of Gallifrey. Great villain, they should definitely bring the character back. Jelgards are antimatter creatures that's created by Omega. Rex Robinson played Dr. Tyler. Is he related to Rose Tyler by any chance? Who is a scientist researching cosmic energy. Laurie Webb played Mr. Ollis, who's a game warden and the first person being taken by the antimatter. Roy Purcell played Pandad the Fourth. Lord President of High Council on Gallifrey. I wonder if he copied a face from Powers from the Mind of Evil, the fact he's played by the same actor. Clyde Pollard played Sokra, who's the Chancellor, and he also played the same character in the War Games. Graham Lehman played a Time Lord who apparently played Sokra in Colony in Space, but he could be early incarnation or something and appearing alongside Sokra in The Three Doctors. Well, there's a theory. Rex Robinson's real life wife. Patrice uh, Pryor plays Mrs. Ollis, the wife of Mr. Ollis. The cast did a great job. This great sets, effects, and music by Dudley Simpson. So the third Doctor meets Omega while Joe and Dr. Tyler were taken into the cell. The third Doctor learns how Omega survived the war. Meanwhile, we get a funny scene where Brigadier thought the Doctor transported the unit HQ to the beach and he tells the second Doctor and Benton to make sure no holidaymakers comes in. <laughs> oh, that would be funny if it happened. I love the lines where Brigadier's like, well there's sand everywhere and the second doctor's like, oh splendid, who's for a swim? <laughs> oh, that crackles me up every time. So Brigadier meets Mr. Ollis while the second doctor and Sergeant Benton were taken by the gel guards. So they get taken to the cell along with the third doctor. So they use their will to disappear at the door. Joe, Dr. Tyler and Benton ran into Brigadier and Ollis and they made a run for it. Second Doctor and Third Doctor looks at the singularity and I jumped when Omega shouted what and walked in. As the energy is running low, the Time Lords send the First Doctor into the Black Hole. He's the last hope. So the Third Doctor and Omega's avatar fight each other in Omega's mind. And it's a great battle, and we get intense moment when he said, Those who oppose the will of Omega shall not live, destroy him. But luckily the second Doctor tells Omega that if he destroys the third Doctor, he loses his chance of freedom. Omega asks the second and third Doctor to remove his mask because the corrosive effects of the Black Hole's singularity and they need to resist it. As they try to, they put it back on because he exists only because his will says that he exists and his will is all that is left of him. So he goes insane, crying with horror, which gave the second Doctor and third Doctor a chance to escape. And yeah, that did look horrifying. So everyone made it back to HQ, being chased by those gel guards. So the first Doctor appeared on the scanner in the TARDIS, figuring out how to outsmart Omega. So the second Doctor's recorder is found in the generator. So everyone went back to see Omega. He lets all humans go back to their places and time. Both doctors tried to convince Omega to take the recorder, but he knocked it out of their hands, causing the explosion. So anything and anyone that got teleported to that world is back where they belong, including Ollis back at the side of the lake. Time Lords have their energy back. The first and second doctor says their farewells and return to their time. As everyone but third doctor and Joe left the TARDIS, the doctor felt bad for tricking Omega. So the Time Lord sent him a new dematerialization circuit because they forgive him. The Doctor got his freedom back. Mrs. Ollis is obviously mad at her husband for his disappearance. Nice line when he says, You never believe me, woman. Supper's ready? <laughs> so yeah, I think this is a fantastic story. Nice to have a multi-Doctor story. 
and a great way to celebrate the 10th anniversary. What did you think of the three doctors? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks people as always for watching and see you in the next video.